San Antonio, Texas takes animal loss to a whole new level. Check out this original post. The Supreme Court of San Antonio have enacted laws to solve the problem of misbehaved and stray animals. Pets and their owners will be punished if they violate these laws. But the harsh punishments angered pet owners. In the city's plan to crack down on pet owners breaking the law, animal courts in San Antonio are designed to deal with dog bites, stray animals, and owners who don't register or vaccinate their pets. Every day at the San Antonio Municipal Courthouse, dogs and sometimes cats show up for court with their owners. According to the Wall Street Journal, this is part of a larger trend of specialized courts made to address the discrete areas of the law. Apparently, dogs bite more than 3,000 residents every year, and the city estimates more than 150,000 stray dogs. Pets have become a huge public health and safety problem. The animal courts hope to encourage a culture of responsibility when it comes to pet ownership. However, opponents believe that it is a waste of time and money. Let's now get a reaction from microbloggers. First is Le On. Are there any courts that deal with humans hurting animals? Not yet in China, but there are predictions for it to happen soon. In early 2010, 13 captive Siberian tigers died at the Xinjiang Forest Wild Animal Zoo, 11 of which died of malnutrition, and another two were shot dead while mauling a zoo worker due to hunger. According to China Daily, the current law of protection for wildlife does not provide for any punishment for irresponsible zoo owners who abuse the animals. In response to the incident, legal experts put together a proposal for a law against animal abuse, which is still being reviewed by the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress. Next commenter is Mei Mei. Forcing animals to follow human laws is unreasonable. It's unfair. If you decide to adopt them, don't abandon them. Whether you like them or not, do not abuse them and leave them alone. It's very simple, right? As we reported a couple days ago, as China's wealth grows, the number of pet owners also grows, resulting in plenty of animal lovers. However, much of the older generation did not grow up with pets, so there now exists a conflict between pet owners and not pet owners. If there were animal courts in China, it would be filled to the brim with people suing pet owners for dog bites or threatening pet behavior. As reported by the China Post in April of last year, a woman by the name of Wang Xuan was sued by Bai Lianping for Wang's dog biting Bai's housekeeper. In retaliation of the incident, the 56-year-old Bai used a walking stick to hit Wang's dog. Angered by the event, Wang enlisted the help of some girlfriends and staged a bikini protest against the administration for favoring Bai and discounting pet owners. The protest not only got political attention, but also resulted in a minor traffic jam.